Another form of statistical test in uh, Six Sigma is proportion testing. And here we're having attributes. And so we might want to say, well, we have a certain number of trials, and we had a certain number of successes. And we want to compare and see if that is statistically equal to the proportion we're looking for. All right, so it has to be between 0 and 1 here. And so in this case, when you come over here, there's a direct and a uh, normal calculation, assuming normal data. And if you see here, everything's in green. Essentially, that says we accept the null hypothesis that, yes, 50 out of 90 is point, uh, gives us a proportion of 0 0.05. Now what happens if we come down and go to 40? Up, oh, still. All right, if we come down to 30, all of a sudden we start to see that uh, one-sided test here shows that we're actually on the low side here of 0.05. And so now we can start to reject that we're getting the proportion we want. Now that's a one proportion uh, test. We can also do that on two proportions. So let's say that we're our first uh, group, we're having 5,000 trials and we had 10 successes versus 30,000 trials and 200 successes. And we're going to enter our confidence level up here, which is you know just the inverse of 0.05 there. And as you can see here, again, this is going to say that P1 uh, minus P2, we're calculating the difference between these two, uh, is not... Uh, not the same. So we're going to reject that uh, particular analysis. And so here we can say that, you know, these two proportions uh, are not giving us the results we want, all right, uh, on, the, on a one-sided test. On a, actually, the two-sided test, which is they're equal, yes, um, P1 less than P2 less than zero, yes, it says that's still acceptable. And, but on the, the other side, P1 minus P2 is not greater than zero, so this one's definitely bigger than that. To get to the proportion tests in QI macros, click on ANOVA tools, go down to one and two proportions, and that'll bring up the template, and then simply put in your values in any of the yellow areas. It makes it really easy to create a proportion test in Excel using the QI macros. And you can download a 30-day trial at qimacros.com.